removed the dust on my watercolor palette when I was preparing the video where I compare gouache and watercolor. And I had great fun painting with watercolor. So I've decided to play more with watercolor because for me, watercolor is really pure fun. Let's prepare a watercolor palette, swatch it and play with it so we know our colors. I use it in different ways, one for travel sketchbooks and it's more coloring inside or outside the lines. But now I wanna make a series of flowers with watercolor and just play because I don't like much rules. So I want to just enjoy myself and I hope you will too. I had these old pans of watercolors that were glued inside a box. This is something I did when I entered art school 35 years ago. So you can tell this is really old and some were not good quality. So I have to replace them. First, I want to take off everything I can from the plastic box. And some are really so well glued that I cannot take them off. Well. I can do what I can and once I have all my colors together, I can arrange them the way I like it for working. I also have tubes of watercolor. This is not something I use a lot. I prefer to squeeze them in a pan and let them dry because I'm very used to rubbing the pans in the palette. Well, I don't know for you if you are using tubes. Let me know in comments. As you know, you don't have a very good idea of the color on the pan versus painted on paper. So I have to take each and every pan and try to remember or guess the color. I must say I'm not really picky about that. I know some painters that like to have the name of the color written on the side of the pan. Really, I don't care much. I think that I can really guess the color if I don't know it. And if I don't guess it, well, that's fine. I have the color in front of me. I don't really need the name. Once it's done, I'm trying to arrange the colors in the way I like to work with them. I have bought an empty palette with 24 uh, empty lids, but I'm sure I can place 26 inside. So let's try to fix this in a rainbow arrangement. Now the fun part is to fill the palette with little pans and it will be quite difficult because the metallic parts are very hard. It's brand new and you need to push hard. And as you've just swatched the colors, they are a bit damp with the brush you placed on it. So your fingers will get dirty, but no problem because making art is sometimes getting your hands dirty. And it's done, everything fits inside, great news. Now I have to swatch it. I've made a kind of a swatch paper. It's quite rough because as I said, I'm not picky with that, just to make sure I have the colors I want when I want to pick them. And boom, a brand new watercolor palette. Mm, I love it, so yummy. Now let's play with it. So grab any kind of watercolor paper you have. I'm using a sketchbook, which is made for tries and tests. And I want to see how my colors are behaving together, how they blend into each other. And as I said, I don't like rules, especially in watercolor. So maybe some of you, We'll think that I'm doing nothing convenient, but that's how I do it. And I hope you can play too with your watercolor. And while you're here, could you boop the like button? It really helps the video to spread. Thanks a lot. Let's place some juicy blobs because I want the colors to bleed into each other. And also it's important to see how the colors are mixing and fusing into each other because this is an information you will need when you will be painting with it. And it's very important that you know your pigments. For example, if you want to mix purple, depending on the pink and the blue you will be using, you will get very different purples. So it's interesting to make this kind of page and then you will label and write down which color was so you can be able to reproduce the same mix. You can also do this with something a bit more systematic with lines and rows of the same color so you will be able to get back to the exact mix that you want to make. Now you're able to know really well your color. This azo yellow is giving a really nice yellow undertone on the moss 
And when the moss is very concentrated, it's very nice. Here it's granulating, it's really cool. But I don't like much the mix of tallow and azul. I think it's not a good combo. It doesn't fit well together. But the lemon and phthalo gives a really nice cauliflower effect. While playing with my watercolor, I just found out that my blues are really too close to each other. So I need to buy more watercolor. Oh my gosh, I have to go to the art store. Believe it or not, this is a good excuse to go there. As I'm smart, I thought of taking my swatches with me. Oh, look, a ton of pans from Sennelier. Ooh, I'm just so happy. Now let's spend a hard time thinking about the right color I need to take. I wanted a blue and I got back with a purple. <laughs> That's life. And I am liking purple because this is not a color I like a lot. So I don't use them a lot. And I want to push myself and try to use more purple now. So it's called Cobalt Violet Deep U. Wow, lovely color, by the way. It's not something I'm used to, but very cool. Let's remove one of the blues and place it inside the palette. So I have to move a bit two pans. So I will have to do my swatches again as I don't want to do it everything because I'm lazy and impatient. So I will just cut it, add a scrap of paper behind with a bit of glue and paint it over and it will be good enough. And I have to test this new purple, which is really gorgeous when it's saturated. So as usual, make some blobs close to each other and have the two blobs touch slightly so the colors can bleed. So you can see every color are fusing together, giving something that is really joyful and gorgeous. That was my simple way to set up my watercolor palettes. I have my swatches on the paper that I keep aside because I don't want it to be ruined inside the palettes. Now I'm ready to play and as I said, I want to paint flowers. So stay tuned for next week's video. We will be painting flowers with watercolor and gouache because I want to mix the two of them together. I think it will be really fun and really cool. See you soon.